And it's the, what I'll say now is based on research and obvious, but still I think important, which is that social media posts are curated, idealized um, glimpses of a life. They are not, you know, a sort of representative sample from a research perspective. So people are putting on only the most attractive photos or the happy moments. And, and um, there is a, a now documented problem for mental health of our, of people's consuming, especially teenagers consuming all of that sort of sense that other people's lives are, are, are perfect and other people look good all the time and I'm imperfect and I feel worse and worse and worse about myself. Right. So it's, you know, we used to, we used to, we've always had social comparison. We've always had interaction with other people, some of whom were doing better on something, some doing worse on something, but this has slanted our sample dramatically, like biased our sample dramatically toward the positive in ways that, um, can, can produce um, real mental health challenges and make people feel failures even more off limits than we spontaneously think it is anyway. So I think the challenge is to override that, you know, in within families, within work teams, just, you know, keep pointing out, yeah, yeah, that's like, you know, that's Hollywood, that's not reality. 